girls, welcome back to Michonne's DIY journey and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. In today's video, I'm bringing you my second episode for my fall decor DIY series. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell right next to it so you don't miss an upload. All right, dolls, let's get started. First up, I'm using this pumpkin shaped wall decor sign. Looks like a blackboard and has this metal green leaf at the top. I'll also be using this coffee mug shaped note holder or picture holder, whatever you call it, as well as these window clings um, from the Dollar Tree. I love the pumpkin spice and everything nice saying. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove everything from this uh, pumpkin sign, but I'm actually going to be using the back side of it. So I'm not going to use the front side of it. I just didn't feel like trying to figure out if my paint was going to cover it all. And it just had a smoother surface. So I'm using this Waverly chalk paint and truffle and just going to uh, do two coats of that paint on the back using a simple foam brush. Once I am allowing that to dry, I'm then going to go ahead and open up this coffee mug shaped uh, note holder and then I'm going to unscrew the top piece um, on it where uh, it's a clip to hold like a note or a picture and then I'm going to remove the back uh, side of it where uh, it would stand up but I'm actually going to save that for later because I'm going to reuse that then I'm just going to go ahead and sand down where those holes were where they were sticking up and I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing from where I unscrewed the clip next I'm going to use the same Waverly chalk paint and truffle and going to paint that with my uh, foam brush again that I got from Dollar Tree and do a couple of coats of those Once that's dried, I am then going to go ahead and do a little bit more painting and use my Waverly chalk paint in mineral. And I am going to do the top of it. I actually kind of want this mug to kind of look like a Starbucks <laughs> cup. So I'm using this Waverly chalk paint in agave as well. So I'm going to use mineral for the top um, part to make it look like it's the top of the mug or coffee or something um that's what i thought because that was these are the colors that i had so that was the best i could go off of and then for the handle part i am going to use that agave color uh chalk paint and um i really love how it came out i used a small uh brush paint brush that i got from a pack of six at dollar tree and it worked pretty well i'll probably have to start investing in better paint brushes since i'm painting a little bit more in my projects but um, I love the way that it turned out. And I actually really love the way that the agave color turned out. It wasn't too uh, dark, but it wasn't too bright. It was just pre pretty much right. And I only really had to do like one and a half coats of these. I didn't have to do a lot of heavy paint for either one of these portions. I'm gonna let that sit to the side and dry and work on my dried pumpkin shape now. And I'm taking this mineral chalk paint and I'm gonna do some, tr attempt to try to do some dry brushing to give my pumpkin a little bit more depth as well and do some circular or semi-circular lines just to give it a little bit more character, uh, give it a little bit more color. Um, I, I like how it came out. I wasn't 100% happy with it. There's a few lines that I'm not happy with, but, um, I did the best that I could for the knowledge that I knew and being, you know, a real novice at the whole painting craft, <laughs> if you get my drift. <laughs> so work with me here. This is my DIY journey, right? So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And just to not have such harsh lines, I'm taking a makeup brush and kind of just smearing it off a little bit because I realized it was just too much paint it was just the mineral was just coming across a little too too dark for me so um i started to do a little bit more of like the corners and the perimeter i really do not like the bottom part of it but i did the best that i could once i started to realize that my makeup brush was actually doing a better job than my paint brush so i started to put the paint on the makeup brush and just started making those small streaks to give 
the pumpkin a little bit more of a pumpkin kind of look to it with the humps so that's what I'm doing right there <laughs> Next, I'm taking some Crimson Waverly chalk paint and going to just uh, paint the stem of it. I only gave it one good coat and then I decided to use some extra fine gold glitter that I got from Walmart and uh, put it on the top. I didn't use any glue. I just let the paint stay wet and then place or sprinkled the glitter on top. Next, I'm taking my pumpkin spice and everything nice window cling, uh, giving it a generous amount of Mod Podge, uh, putting it on the back and on the front for it to lay down completely flat and it actually did the trick. Uh, once that is down, I then went ahead and took some of that crimson paint, chalk paint, and did the outside or the, the corners of my coffee cup because it I, I needed a little bit more color because the truffle on top of the truffle was just a little bit too much. I thought that the mineral and the agave color would kind of offset it a bit, but it didn't do the trick that I wanted it to. So that's why I put the crimson on the side and I actually like it. It came out a, a little bit uh, better than I thought it would. Next, I'm taking that raffia bow that was already on this pumpkin and just placing it um, onto that coffee mug. Just did a little bit of hot glue and put it on there. Now, next, I'm using this picture stand that came off of the coffee mug to let my pumpkin stand up on it and just using a generous amount of hot glue and sticking that to the back of the, the pumpkin side so it can stand up instead of me having to hang this because I didn't want to hang it. I want it, it to stand up on its own on the table. Next, I'm then just going to hot glue down the coffee mug onto the side of the pumpkin. And it's placed on the side of the pumpkin that I least like the most in regards to my painting effect. <laughs> but <laughs> there you have that. I actually really like that way it came out though. Moving on to the next craft, I'm going to go ahead and take two candle holders as well as two um, glass candle stands and I'm using these two pumpkins they're orange pumpkins that I had from last year so I'm just reusing them that's why they look messed up on the bottom and then I'm going to take my truffle chalk paint again and paint all of the glass I'm giving it uh, two coats on each because I want it to come out um, darker than what it would on one um, with one coat and because the glass will seep through then for my pumpkins, I'm going to color them crimson and agave. But with the crimson pumpkin, I'm actually going to mix the truffle chalk paint together so it gives a deeper, like, not purple or maroon kind of color, but kind of in between maroon and red. And I actually really love the way it came out. It kind of looks really sparkly to me. I um, ended up actually putting just a little bit more of the crimson color on top of it because it came out a little too purplish purplish brownish for me so that's why I, I put a little bit more of the crimson color on top and then I absolutely love the way that the agave colored pumpkin came out it's so pretty and for my fall colors I'm just doing a little bit more color than just like the browns oranges and reds once the glass pieces dried with all the paint, I then actually took a sanding sponge that I got from Dollar Tree. I didn't film that part and just kind of gave it a little bit more weathered look, mainly just on the candle holders. And then once I was happy with that, I just went ahead and hot glued it down. And I should have took off this, the tags on the bottom of those plates, but I didn't. So, oh well. Next, I'm using this liquid adhesive that I picked up from Dollar Tree. It's pretty much like Elmer's glue to me. I just didn't have Elmer's glue and I had this. I don't know why I bought it, but I got it. And I'm actually going to go ahead and dip the pumpkin stems in my gold glitter because I love glitter. I think it's so pretty. Um, and it just gives a little bit more character to what I'm trying to do with my fall projects and my fall decor in my house. And then all I did was just stick it in there and set it aside to let it dry until it was ready to go back in each pumpkin. Next, I took this leftover lace um, ribbon that I had, which was not a lot. I thought I had more, but it's not. So 
got a little creative with the bows that I wanted to make and just cut it in half and then use some twine to go ahead and make a bow. And basically what I'm doing is just kind of flat overlapping the ribbon to make it look like a bow and then just tying the twine in the middle tight enough to where I can get the shape that I want. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you can see what I'm doing. And it actually came out a, a lot better and it was a lot easier to accomplish than probably I'm explaining. <laughs> Once I was happy with the shape of the bow, I just went ahead and cut off the tails of the twine and then went ahead and hot glued each bow to the bottom of each of those candle holders. When that was all done, it was time for me to assemble what I wanted at the top of these candle table holders things that i wanted and i had this leftover wreath wrap from a target haul that i did a while back probably last year and all i'm doing is just uh, measuring out how wide it needs to be on that plate and just it's wire so i was able to just kind of curl it over and um, uh, get the shape that i wanted Next, I'm just going to put a couple of dots of hot glue down so that the reef stays in place. Um, hot glue, I can reuse this all I want. Um, so that's why I use hot glue. Then I took some of these pine cones off of the cotton that I picked up from Dollar Tree, which I really don't like these cotton ones. They got some other ones and I picked those up too, but I like the pine cones on here. And so I'm just kind of placing how I want it to look and this is how everything turned out i actually went ahead and used the cotton for the other stand with the other pumpkin and i really love how everything turned out thanks again so much for watching dolls i really appreciate you spending part of your day with me remember if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and if you're new here go ahead and subscribe thanks so much dolls i'll see you on the next one bye